Hello, Leiden, and uh, happy first workday Wednesday. For our certified staff, this is a great opportunity to connect with our students, especially those who haven't been fully engaged up to this point. It's also a great opportunity to connect with your course teams, your department members, to plan and coordinate upcoming lessons and prioritization of content for the rest of the year. Now that we're back from spring break, we are in our new normal for the foreseeable future. I thought I would just take this opportunity to share some good news, give you some updates on what's happening at the schools and everything else while you're gone. A while back, we talked about a student at West Leiden who needed a new motorized wheelchair. I'm happy to announce that through donations from many of you and from our partnership with Unity and Community, uh, Miguel now has a brand new wheelchair uh, on order. Coming up with $10,000 in that amount of time, it's only the kind of thing that happens in a community like ours, so thank you. Uh, speaking of thank yous, yesterday I looked out my window and I saw a bunch of cars and people in our parking lot. As you can imagine, that's not the norm these days. It was our counselors organizing a parade to deliver good news to our seniors about their scholarships. In the email, uh, I'm including a link to a video that was taken by Danali Mata, our East Leiden student uh, school board member. So thank you to everyone who made that possible. That was a really magical moment for our kids yesterday. Turning to our current situation, the experts are telling us that we're about to head into the peak window of COVID-19 cases in Illinois. With that in mind, we're asking that you get any final items you need out of the building by the end of this week. Still use the Google form to let us know if you're coming in, but we do not want any additional staff members coming back into the building starting next week. Please, please, please make sure that you're doing your part to follow the CDC guidelines regarding staying home as much as possible, limiting travel to essential needs, and maintaining social distancing. For those of us who are still coming into work every day, food services, maintenance, transportation, and administration, please make sure you stay home if you're sick. Think about yourself and your family and also your colleagues and their families. One of the uh, side effects of schools being closed is that we've been able to get a jump on our construction projects. The six tennis courts at East Leiden are gone. Soon we'll rebuild eight new courts with lights closer to Cal Wagner Avenue. On the site of the old courts and the temporary gravel parking lot, we are building an artificial turf soccer stadium with lights, bathrooms, a scoreboard, and a speaker system. Inside the building, Many of the classrooms in the 200s at East have had their flooring and HVAC removed as we prepare to continue these renovation projects. The metal shop and auto shop will be getting new epoxy floors for next year. The old choir area is being renovated and will eventually be the home of Colab. Across the hall from my office, that entire area is being demolished and rebuilt. When we come back, that space will house our new assistant superintendent for student services and special education. Dr. Brian Mahoney, our Director of Communications, Cindy Moreno, and our CSBO Treasurer, Patrick Hatfield, as well as their assistants. Over at West Leiden, we are repairing some of the driveways and parking areas and replacing the running track around the football field. Inside the building, we're moving the kiln out of the tunnels and putting it inside the ceramics area. I'm hearing there may be some virus-related delays in acquiring the new kiln, but we're still moving forward with preparations. We're also removing some of the office areas in the social studies wing, the 210 hallway, and increasing the size of those classrooms. When necessary, the maintenance crew is organizing and boxing up materials that were in those spaces. Just today, I'm happy to report that we received a shipment of about 1,800 surgical masks for our workers that are reporting to our buildings every day. Those have been on order since early March. I cannot even begin to thank all of them for their time and effort to take care of our students. When we look back on this experience, they will be some of the true heroes of this pandemic. Having said that, there are so many more heroes to be recognized. Many of you have spouses, children, relatives, and friends that are serving as doctors and nurses and first responders out on the front lines every day. You are not only supporting our students, you're also supporting those people who are showing up every day to take care of the rest of us and our relatives and our friends. So thank you. Next week, we will finish up our interviews for the Dean position at West Leiden and the Principal position at East Leiden. Just like you've all had to adapt your processes in these times, we've moved the full interview processes online. 
thank you to all of you who have been generously giving of your time to serve on those interview teams. We're very excited about both candidate pools and we plan to have those wrapped up by no later than the April 30th school board meeting. And as soon as I can, I will share information about who is selected for those positions. I think that's about all I have for you today. We haven't received any new information on timelines from the state. I don't have any news to report about end of year activities at this point, but please know that we're talking about that in our AC meetings every week. Thank you again for your creativity and your passion for helping our kids in these strange times. It is much appreciated. Please know that even though this Friday is a holiday on the calendar, we are staying open to keep providing breakfast and lunches for our students. So everybody, we miss you here. Please take care and have a great day.